For today's video, we're gonna open up my first 10 winter llamas. And towards the end of the video, we're gonna check out some of the new quests as well as their rewards. But before we start opening up these new winter llamas, there were a couple of things I wanted to point out first. The new Frost Knight event is temporarily disabled. As soon as it becomes available, I'll be sure to let you all know. And we'll also try to upload some gameplay of it or we may stream it. But for now, the Frost Knight event is disabled. And the other thing I wanted to point out is there should be two free seasonal llamas. We're gonna go ahead and open up these bad boys. But yeah, just wanted to point out that Frost Knight is disabled for now, and there should be two free seasonal llamas available. And you do get tickets from those llamas. But yeah, let's go ahead and open these up, and we're gonna go ahead and open them up one at a time. I believe these are the same llamas that they used in last year's Christmas event, which was called Survive the Holidays. They look very similar to the ones that we had last year. Uh, let's see for this one we're gonna have to choose i don't think that really matters i don't think it's gonna be one of the new heroes uh, let's see what is it survivalist jonesy we also got snow stalker jonesy an epic defender and oh oh that's the new smasher basher it came with attack speed armor water damage heavy attack energy efficiency movement speed and hitting an enemy with this weapon grants armor for five seconds and that can stack up to five times all right well we got one of the new weapons uh, let's go ahead and open up another one. Hopefully we get at least one version of all of the new weapons. I believe there's a total of five different weapons you can get from the Winter Llamas. And there's also a weapon you can get from the Frost Knight event. Uh, looks like we got the new shotgun. It's only an epic version, but we got that as well. And I'll show you what they look like after we open all the llamas. But there are the rolls that came with our new shotgun. Let's go ahead and open up another one. All right, let's see what we get this time. Hopefully we get some new heroes as well. Oh, we got the new pistol. It's only epic though. And we also got an epic survivor. All right, well that's three of the new weapons. All we need now is the ax and the assault rifle, which is called Hemlock. So hopefully we get both of those before we finish opening all of these llamas. Let's see what we get from this one. Another smasher basher. Oh man. Well, with the duplicate prevention, uh, we shouldn't be getting any more Smasher Bashers. All right, let's go ahead and open up another one. We're going to fast forward this part. We got Fleetfoot Ken and Epic Defender. Oh, we got the new Jolly Headhunter. Oh my goodness. And the Jolly Headhunter is a double agent. Uh, we have gotten gameplay with the double agent before. I'll leave a link to it in the description and we'll see what she looks like here in a second. But first, let's go ahead and finish opening up the rest of these llamas. All right, let's see what we get from this one. Hopefully we get another hero or a weapon that we haven't gotten yet. Oh, we got the Wicked Win. okay. And that's the new X, but it is only an epic version. Here are the rolls that came with it. Let's go ahead and open up another one. We only got four more left. But yeah, after this, I think we're going to go ahead and get gameplay with the Ginger Blaster Pistol. Obviously, with Frost Knight being down, uh, people are... Oh, we got the new Assault Rifle. Perfect. All right, so we got at least one of each of the new weapons. I think four of them are only epic and one of them is a legendary version, but we can increase the rarity if we need to. But yeah, like I was saying, the only way you can get the Ginger Blaster Pistol is from the Frost Knight event. And with that being down, I'm not gonna be able to get it, but I am gonna hop on Uva's account and try to get some gameplay with it on her account. So we'll try to upload that tonight as well. But after we upload that, let me know which of these new medieval weapons you would like to see gameplay of first. And it looks like for this, we're gonna have to choose between the pistol and the shotgun. I guess let's go ahead and get another shotgun. It don't matter. Uh, we already have the epic version of both of those, unfortunately. We also got an epic survivor and that's all we got from that one. Oh, this is our last llama. Oh man. Hopefully we get another hero or a legendary version of one of the weapons. But yeah, let me know which of these weapons you would like to see gameplay of first. And we'll try to get some gameplay of it sometime tomorrow. Oh, we got another shotgun. But this one's a legendary. And this one came with damage, impact, physical reload, damage to miss monsters, and damage dealt with this weapon snares the target. Oh, looks like we have another one. Let's go ahead and open up another one. I thought that last one was our last one. All right, let's go ahead and fast forward this. Oh, oh. <gasps> We did get the new Sergeant Winter. So yeah, that's everything that I got for my first 10 Winter Llamas. Let's go ahead and check everything out. 
All right, so we got a legendary Smasher Basher. We also got the new legendary shotgun. And we also got the epic version of the pistol, the hemlock, another Smasher Basher and shotgun, as well as the Wicked Wind. And I do want to show you all what the new weapons look like. Here's what the new Smasher Basher looks like. Definitely looking forward to trying this one out. Here's what the new Basilisk pistol looks like. Go ahead and spin it around real quick. Here's what the new Hemlock assault rifle looks like. And I actually like the look of this one. I think it looks pretty cool. Here's what the new axe looks like, which is called Wicked Wind. Go ahead and spin that around as well. And here's what the new shotgun looks like. I think this one also looks pretty cool. And again, these are all of the weapons that you get from the Winter Llamas. And in order to get the new Ginger Blaster, you're going to have to survive for at least 30 minutes in Frost Night. And here's what Jolly Headhunter looks like with her little elf ears. And I'm assuming you'll get like the helmet and stuff when you evolve them. Matter of fact, we'll go ahead and evolve them now. All right, so after you evolve Jolly Headhunter once, you're going to get the hat. And that's what the hat looks like. And after you evolve her twice, you're going to get this backpack on her back. So that's what the new Jolly Head Hunter Soldier looks like. But yeah, here's what Sergeant Winter looks like when you first get him. We're going to go ahead and evolve him though and see what he gets. Alright, so after you evolve him the first time, you're going to get this little present on his back. As well as these two grenades. Alright, well this is what he looks like after we evolved him three times. And as of right now, I believe those are the only two heroes you can get from the Winter Llamas. All of the other heroes you're going to have to get from the Frost Knight event. Anyways, the last thing I want to do before I go is show all of the new event quests as well as their rewards. And this is where they're going to be adding those holiday themed quests. And you'll have until patch 7.2 to complete these quests. So be sure to check this 14 days of Fortnite event quest daily as well as their rewards. And we also got a bunch of Frost Knight event quests as well. If you survive for 15 minutes in Frost Knight, you're going to get Jingle Jess. If you survive for 30 minutes, you'll get the new Ginger Blaster. And if you survive for 45 minutes, you'll get the new Sentry Gunner Krampus. If you deposit 200 blue glow you can get some snowflake tickets you craft rare traps you'll get more tickets whenever you fully explore the frost night map you'll get more tickets eliminate 20 lone krampuses eliminate 20 lone krampus and frost night for more tickets eliminate 50 miss monsters for more tickets and loot 40 chests or safes in frost night for more tickets Save tickets again i dare you i double dare you mother so yeah just wanted to show the new quest for those who haven't seen it yet but definitely be on the lookout for this 14 days of fortnite quest as well as their rewards but yeah that'll do it for this one just wanted to show you all what i got for my first 10 winter llamas and i also wanted to show you the new frost night event quest as well as their rewards let me know in the comments which medieval weapon you would like to see gameplay of first i hope y'all found the video useful and thanks for watching